Scholaria students, Miss Owen here. Um, I am going to be doing a number of dishes um, and adding them to Hub for you to watch, do them at home um, when you go out and buy the ingredients um, and uh, just get involved with cooking at home. Um, now my camera skills are a disaster but hopefully uh, with your um, feedback and um, practice I'll get a bit better. So today we are going to make pizza pinwheels. It's a really simple dish that we make in the party project in year eight uh, and one of the reasons why we make this is it's, it's quite a versatile dish. It can be vegetarian or you can put meat in it. But what we're looking at is making sure that all the pizza pinwheels are perfectly portioned uh, and look beautiful. So to make pizza pinwheels, you're going to need some puff pastry, one egg, some cheese. We've got cheddar cheese here, but you could use mozzarella. Um, you can use some Italian herbs for um, extra seasoning. And you have to mix this. And yeah, you have to um, uh, mix your um, past tomato pasta sauce. You can use tomato puree, but it can taste quite bitter. So if you do have tomato puree, uh, mixing it with um, you know, pasta sauce does give it a sweeter taste. So we have chosen to uh, make our own pasta sauce, which we're using for these pizza pinwheels. Um, if you want to add a protein or extra protein, you can use things like salami or ham. Um, or, or if you want to do some healthy things, you can just do healthy things. Yeah, exactly, like olives. We love olives. Yeah. Okay, so before we begin, we need to wash our hands. Uh, which we uh, and we need to preheat the oven to 200 degrees now make sure you have an adult to help you with this and um, uh, make sure your shelf in the oven is right in the middle brilliant go off and do that now right so we've washed our hands and we're ready to begin have you washed your hands yeah brilliant so um first of all we have our baking tray ready and you need a with bowl. some baking paper on it and you need a bowl and that's for the egg to go in and be whisked so are you going to do that job Phoebe? Yeah, yeah, yeah crack the egg into the bowl and then whisk it with a fork okay Great stuff. Now, Phoebes, you're going to have to put that eggshell straight in the food bin and then wash your hands again yeah. so you don't get salmonella. Right, so I'm going to open up this puff pastry onto my chopping board and I'm going to roll it out onto the chopping board. Now, if you don't have baking paper at home to go on your oven proof tray you can use the paper that comes with the pastry what we're going to do now is almost make a great big pizza so um we are going to paint this with the um with the pasta sauce, sauce. um egg. so um would you like to do the painting or are you whisking phoebes She's whisking, so I'm going to paint the tomato sauce on this. Now, don't put too much on. Why can't you put too much on? I don't know. Um, if you put too much on, Phoebe, then um, the pizza pinwheels become a bit too slippy slidey when they bake. So you want a nice, even covering on, on the pastry here. Now Phoebe has grated the cheese and she's going to put all the cheese she's going to get uh, put all the cheese on top of uh, the tomato sauce now. Now we have got like a mild cheddar cheese here um, but if you um, you know use the cheese that you've got in your house don't go uh, out especially for cheese. Um, uh, a mixture of cheeses is always nice. Uh, using mozzarella gives um, these a very um, 
stringy texture yeah. as you can see this is a lovely simple recipe that you can you might want to do with smaller siblings as well uh and helping them learn how to use cooking equipment So here's our cheese pizza. Um, it, you can actually cook it just like that and it'll just be like a big pizza, but instead of a bread base, it's a, it's a puff pastry base. But we are making the pizza pinwheels. Um, so for um, extra seasoning, we're going to add some oregano. Do you want to shake some in your hand? And sprinkle it all across the top to give it that margarita taste, Phoebe's. Oh, delicious. And did you say you wanted some salami on yours? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have got these. Um, oh, we've already got one piece of salami left. So we're going to have to cut that up into smaller pieces. Yeah. Brilliant. So if you are making pizza pinwheels, um, don't make your toppings too bulky. Um, you know, just uh, quite minimal ingredients um, works more successfully with this technique. So what we're going to do now is we're going to roll the entire thing. OK, you ready? Because <laughs> uh, they're making them look like um, a twisty pinwheel. So we're using the paper under the... Um, the puff pastry so i'm folding it and peeling the puff pastry back okay lovely okay and as we do this um you can um brush the the puff pastry with our egg um so every time i roll feeds do you want to do a bit of painting so paint there for me all the way along roll it again and I'm peeling it back. Paint. Oh, lovely. You have to paint it very well or it goes mm -hmm. like something bad. Oh, you don't paint yeah. it. So rolling it again. Oh, it's working out really, really, okay, really I've well. Got my and paint it again. But what will happen if you don't add your egg? Well, if you are allergic to egg, lots of people are, you can use milk if you run out of eggs. Oh, yeah. Um, or you can have a go without it. I'm not, uh, but it just, the pastry just won't puff out as much or look as shiny. When you get to your final roll, uh, you're going to give it a bit of a rock to make sure that it does stick together. And we're just going to uh, peel... Um, the pinwheel the off the paper now. Oh, the paper. Right, hold on, hold on. Gently does it, Phoebe. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. So that's, that's great, isn't it? Yep. So we've got like a big rolled up pizza. And it looks like a snake. It does look like a snake. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to cut them. Uh, into um, you know nice size portions. Um, so let me just show you the chopping technique for this. So I'm I'm going to cut them with this sharp knife, Phoebe, and then you're going to put them on the tray. Now I've got uh, you can see both the tray and um, and uh, the pastry. So when you're chopping the pastry, don't just press down with the knife because you'll just squish the pastry. You do need to. Do a sawing action to cut it without squishing it down. Now, the whole point of is it to show um, really nice portions. So you may even want to just score the top of the pastry. I'm cutting these um, around uh, two centimeters thick. Um, I would do that. Okay. So, are you ready to paint them? Right, so I'm going to cut, I'm sawing, not pressing. And when you place them on your on your oven-proof okay. paper, um, we're going to stand them up so the um, spiral is facing upwards and 
Phoebe, are you, gonna, are you good to paint them whilst okay. I, as I cut? Yeah. Great stuff. Now these are delicious for pat lunches. Or you could use mm. them for picnics. Yeah, it's a great one with picnics in the garden. Or if you go out. Um, but when you place them on your tray, you've got to give them a lot of room because they are going to grow in, in the oven. So they should go in the oven for 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Make sure you have an adult to help you put them in and take them out of the oven. Yeah, you have to have an adult. And whilst they're cooking, we're going to wash up. So this is what they should look like in the oven. So they're nearly going to be done. So, you can so remember when you take them out of the oven, always prepare where you're going to put the hot oven tray. I've put mine on top of the hobs here where it's safe. Um, and I'm going to leave them to cool down. Um, you know when they're ready, when the pastry's all puffed out. Uh, and if we turn one over with a knife, um, our pastry shouldn't have a soggy bottom so the pastry um, will look um, slightly transparent if uh, it's undercooked. Do uh, this with um, um, sweet ingredients too like an apple pie filling or jam. Uh, jam twi twizzles are really yummy but it's just about experimenting with different ingredients and having fun cooking.